down here, so we have to rotate it. Okay, move. Give it another five degrees of rotation. And then just slip it in. Okay, tools, weld selected. Tools, weld selected. Do the same prep here. Just level it out. Tools, weld selected. Okay, let's work on this piece. So just drag it up. And I know it goes over here. Just got to figure out which of it goes where. So this goes on the bottom. Alright, so I have to rotate this 90 degrees left. Okay, move it in. Okay. Tools, weld selected. And you can also use the hotkey, which is Control W. So I guess I'll just do that from now on. Um, bring it in half and half. Control W. But of course, it doesn't want to work, so we'll just continue doing it this way. Tools, weld selected, bring it out, weld selected. Alright, let's continue placing uh, the side pieces. So just drag it up here and figure out where the vertex lines up to. And rotate it into place. Alright, drag it in. Use target weld or weld adjacent. So select both the verts, tools, weld selected, move up here, tools, weld selected, and drag this one so it's not as warped as you want that triangle to be actually triangular shaped. Move this into position as well, tools, uh, weld selected. Drag this to the 45 degree angle on both sides. Tools, weld selected. And over here, you can actually see that this vertice is connected to this one. However, if you bring them over, it'll stretch the uh, UVW maps uh, quite a bit. So in my opinion, it's just better to leave them like this and work around it in your uh, 2D program. However, if you want to use the same FFD uh, skew modifier in 2D program, you can just move this down here, this over here, and connect them up. Finally, let's get this last piece into position. Um, position it directly on top of the old one. And then just line up the uh, three vertices with the ones that are already existing. What this will do is it will keep the, uh, the map from stretching. And let's see where this one goes. Do the same with the other side. If you have to move it, that's okay. It's not going to kill you. like that piece is done being unwrapped. Let's just scale it down a bit so that it fits inside of the box. Okay, we can bring this over here. Go to M to open up your material editor. Uh, diffuse, bitmap, and light wood. Now, when you apply it, it's going to kind of give you this grainy texture, which means it's going the wrong way. So what you want to do is in here, select everything and rotate it 90 degrees to get it on the right axis. Now in your project you should see that it comes out as aligned as a, uh, the grain going the long way. Now, um, 
that is pretty much the basic approach you're going to use for all the rest of the... Uh, and just to review the uh, steps we did earlier, this 2D piece of paper was just a planar map using the UVW modifier in which we um, reviewed the ratio to get the perspective correct. For the cork board itself, we just did a basic box map with the, UV with the unwrapped UVW modifier and um, welded the edges uh, for the front and the back. And then for the top piece here, we simply did the box um, UVW map to get the basic going. Then we used the unwrapped UVW modifier to create a full mesh. And as you can see, you only have more or less one seam as opposed to all the um, countless seams that we had before. And again, you can use the same technique to unwrap this, this, and this. Won't bore you with the details, but it's quite easy. And then just do a and just to see what it looks like in your render, hit render, and you get a very realistic corkboard. You can see the texture clearly, the pictures come out nice, and you can even see the wood grain here. Moving in closer, you can um, let's see here, see everything very nicely. The chamfered edges really bring out the shadows and the highlights in the corners, and using uh, various diffuse or um, bump maps and displacement maps, you can give texture to both the wood and the corkboard. Or you can use a noise modifier in the paper to give it maybe a crinkled kind of look. But uh, that's it for this tutorial. And I hope you watch the others.